on finding a guy at UMass. Mm -hmm. Now, I was at the grad lounge, and this guy was flirting with me. He was an ROTC, and I was like, right on, an army guy. That's pretty cool, right? And he changed my number. And I'm like, that could be sitting over here. Is that why you guys are giggling? Hi, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> takes my phone number, and he doesn't call. <laughs> and I asked my brother, I said, I don't get it. Why did this army guy take my number and not call? And he's like, well, maybe he got shipped off. And I was like, oh, he'd rather see Iraq than my rack? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, <man. laughs> uh, <laughs> so funny. Um, so even in high school, I didn't have any luck with guys. Like my health teacher asked me, she's like, Danielle, has a man ever pressured you into having sex? And I said, no. How do I get them to do that? <laughs> no, I'm not going to lie to you. I do have a little luck with the guys. But not all guys, just Irish guys. So weird. I've had more Irish guys on their backs than the potato famine. <laughs> oh. On my oh. too soon. <laughs> on my resume, on their computer skills, instead of comfortable with Macs and PCs, I put comfortable with Macs and O'Brien. <laughs> One time I was having sex with a guy who was so Irish that at the end there was a pot of gold. <laughs> <laughs> I was once in an orgy. Well, it wasn't an orgy. It was just me and a guy, but he kept calling me by different names. <laughs> and phone sex. I do phone sex. Woo! But I'm bad with continuity. I'll be like, yeah, I'm naked. Ooh. And he's like, yeah, what are you touching? And I was like, my hands down my pants. <laughs> but, I mean, that's not as bad as if I was like, I'm in your car, naked, lathering up with my loofah. <laughs> my car? What do you think? Get out of there. That's a mess. <laughs> All right. Looks like that's my time. But thank you so much for having me. <laughs>